Rebuilding a World Economy, the Post-War Era The Second World War was fought between the Axis powers and the Allies, Britain, France. Vast parts of Europe and Asia were devastated, and several cities were destroyed, by aerial bombardment or relentless artillery attacks. The war caused an immense amount of economic devastation and social disruption. Reconstruction promised to be long and difficult. Two crucial influences shaped post-war reconstruction. The first was the U.S.'s emergence as the dominant economic, political and military power in the Western world. The second was the dominance of the Soviet Union. Economists and politicians drew to key. First, an industrial society based on mass production cannot be sustained without mass consumption. To ensure mass consumption, there was a need for high and stable incomes. The second is, the goal of full employment could only be achieved if governments had power to control flows of goods, capital and labor. The main aim of the post-war international economic system was to preserve economic stability and full employment in the industrial world. Its framework was agreed upon at the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference held in July 1944 at Bretton Woods in New Hampshire, USA. The Bretton Woods Conference established the International Monetary Fund IMF, to deal with external surpluses and deficits of its member nations. The IMF and the World Bank commenced financial operations in 1947. The Bretton Woods system was based on fixed exchange rates. In this system, national currencies, for example, the Indian rupee, were pegged to the dollar at a fixed exchange rate. The dollar itself was anchored to gold at a fixed price of $35 per ounce of gold.